Hi, it's Daphne from Blue Quarry, and today I'm going to demonstrate an encaustic photo project. In this video, I will show you how I turn this photo into this. I begin with a matte finish photo that I've mounted to a cradled wooden board. Since the board is square and the photo is rectangular, I ended up with a natural border at the top and the bottom. I'm using encaustic paint, which is in a creamy white color I mixed up myself by combining encaustic medium with white pigment stick. My electric skillet is set to 200 degrees. I start by applying a layer of encaustic across the exposed wood above the photo making sure to run the paint up to and over the edge of the photo. Then I fuse lightly, being sure to move my gun continuously. As soon as the surface looks a little glossy, I know the wax has been fused. If I want a super smooth surface, I can continue to heat until the brush strokes disappear. If I want a textured surface, I can allow some of the brush marks to remain. I can also focus the heat on an area and use the hot air to release any little bubbles or just to push the wax around to create different effects. I use a combination of these techniques on this piece. As I allow the top border to cool, I flip the board around and repeat the process on the bottom border. I can apply the paint in any direction, partly because this brush is laying down a very smooth coat, but also because I'm trying to give this piece a bit of interest and depth with some soft textures and small imperfections. The fun part for me is that I never know exactly how an area will turn out when I apply the heat and often surprise myself with the results.
Once I am happy with the top and bottom borders, I decide to add white paint to the background areas to hide the head on the left that I feel is a little too distracting. everything out, I add encaustic to the right side as well. The application on this side is a little lighter and a bit more modeled to allow some of the background to show through. happy with the way this turned out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you would like more information on the tools and materials I used for this project, or to learn more about my online video courses, visit my website at bluequarry.com. Thanks for watching.